This is Shared Empire. Uh, she was uh, racing and diagnosed with having a soft tissue injury in both of her forelimbs. And uh, I believe that she was diagnosed on October 8th at Rudin Riddle Equine Hospital. When you're trying to figure out where a horse is lame, of course there's the visual exam to, sit, to, to pick the, the lame leg. Uh, and it's not always that easy because number one, lameness can be subtle, but number two, it can be bilateral, it can be in more than one limb. So the process starts by trying to assess where the horse is lame and then doing what we call diagnostic nerve blocks. And basically what that is, there are regional nerve blocks. The nerves run down from the spinal cord all the way down each leg down to the foot. And in order to localize the area of lameness, you have to start at the bottom and work your way up. You're basically numbing the nerves, starting with the foot. So if you put a little bit of lidocaine, which is a local anesthetic, over each heel nerve, you're essentially numbing the foot. So it's a local block. It localizes that area and then you jog the horse and see if there's any change in the lameness. And that needs to be done sequentially starting from the foot and working your way up. Shared Empire is a filly who uh, sustained a soft tissue injury at the racetrack. She was brought in to be diagnosed at Rudin Riddle Equine Hospital here in Lexington. In a case like Shared Empire, they would have started at the foot, worked their way up to the pastern and ankle, and then uh, presumably at that point, she would still be lame. And then the next block up is what we call a high four point, infiltrating the nerves that supply the top of the suspensory ligament and the check ligament. <clears throat> Apparently in her case, uh, she blocked sound, which means that the lameness was eliminated. And uh, also in her case, apparently it was a bilateral limb thing, so uh, presumably one leg was probably worse, they blocked that, and she probably went lame in the other leg. Blocked her up again, up to the check ligament. So the diagnosis was bilateral check ligament injury. And the check ligament is a fibrous band, it's a ligament. It comes off, just below the knee, off the back of the cannon bone, and it's an accessory ligament, so it joins the deep flexor tendon. Its function is to help the horse not overextend its limb when, when it's in the extension phase of the stride. So this is the location of where the check ligament sits. And as I palpate it, it palpates completely normally. There's no heat there. There's no evidence of uh, any residual pain or inflammation. I will say that a check ligament injury in a thoroughbred racehorse is a relatively uncommon injury. Um, what would be more common would be some of the other soft tissue structures like the high suspensory, like the superficial flexor tendon. Uh, those would be more common, but it does occur occasionally. In her case, it did. And the good news is that that injury uh, usually heals uneventfully given the proper therapy, which is mostly just time and she's had uh, the appropriate rehabilitation period with uh, the appropriate amount of exercise and she is currently sound and my expectation is that she will has has already made a full recovery and that this is not something that will uh, be an issue for her going forward.